stay put. I gotta go find an arrow. Stay right there. Find an arrow. Here you go. Nope. Let me go in here and get this guy. All right, buddy. Thank you for your life. All right. That's one. That's breakfast, so. But unfortunately, it took me three, four shots to get this guy. See my other arrow there. I just want to be able to find all my arrows. And another one right here. I kept shooting a little bit low and the arrows were skipping the off the ground going. And one went right under them actually. And that's my other one. Luckily that one gave me several attempts <laughs> because I'm not that great. All my bow shooting has been at an archery range so being outside with different lighting everything, just excuses now, but judging that distance, not having like set markers and stuff is uh, it's something I gotta get used to now. And, and small game is a, is a great way to do that before I start hunting large game with a bow that's not trapped and within two feet in front of me but could have stabbed him with a pocket knife fair this guy also let me get like within i don't know 15 feet <laughs> so not that impressive but that's uh that's actually my first grouse kill with a bow so not very graceful but got the job done this is why i never assume i'm alone in the woods that's wolf tracks Thick woods. That's some really thick woods in there. I don't think I have a straight shot. I can see him now. No, I don't have a good shot here. Oh, how do I get in after him? I might have a shot right here. Here running water down through here and uh, I haven't had breakfast yet so this is breakfast this morning something lives down there got a feeling it might be a squirrel <laughs> This char cloth has kind of turned to char powder. <laughs> you can see that tiny little, ooh, she's hot. You can see that little ember there. Smoking. flame. I just blew it out of the thing. There you go. This is the gizzard. 
it's inside. He has an empty crop because I got him in the morning. Hasn't eaten yet. This time of year, the crop, if you take this crop and open it up, it'll be tight full of, well, right now it's just got a few little leaves and stuff in it, as you can see. This crop holds what they're eating. So believe it or not, you can make tea out of pretty much anything they, they put in that. Generally speaking, it's just berries and, and like tips and these little leaves and stuff like that. So that's why you find them on the trails as they wake up in the morning. And what they're doing is they're, they're uh, eating gravel. And the gravel goes into this thing called the gizzard. And as the food drops down from the crop into the gizzard, the rocks work like teeth and they grind up all the food for them and then it drops into their stomach. We're gonna open this up. And from my experience, most of the times they like quartz. I'm just gonna slice this open. Look at the gravel that's in there. As you can see, it's mostly white quartz. Pretty much 100% pieces of quartz actually, like white gravel. So find a gravel trail with a heavy amount of quartz in it. That's what they prefer to have in their gizzard for growing up their food. But that makes sense anyways, because quartz is pretty hard. I brought everything out here to make breakfast, but I don't have a cup to put my coffee in. So luckily I had this water bottle left in my pack. So now will be my coffee cup. But I'm gonna have to wait until the coffee cools down so I don't melt the plastic, but oh well. We're gonna try it now. Grouse should not be overly cooked. People usually cook grouse too much. See how it's still nice and pink in the middle? Here, I'm gonna tear it open more. Like that. That's how grouse should be cooked. That's fresh as it gets right there. Let's get some more. Another piece of breast meat right there. I'll just stick the grip this in the ground there. Cheers. It's good. Ooh, that gross looks like it might be burning a little bit. Nah, just the edge. Hot. Do you wait for your food to cool down or do you go I'm a kind of guy. What a beautiful day. Well this morning when I left it was kind of frosty outside. It was a little little layer of ice on most of the puddles on the trail but it's warming up now I'd say it's probably about what 12 degrees Celsius something like that. Not super warm, but what a beautiful day. If I had it my way, I'd have breakfast like this every day. <laughs> It'd be nice if the wife and kids were with me, but well, I'm gonna finish my coffee here now. Enjoy the rest of the morning and finish eating the other half of this uh, grouse breast. So, well, thank you guys again for watching and joining me today on today's adventure. And uh, for all my new subscribers, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. And as always, thank each and every one of you guys. God bless, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye. Walking along the trail and found this. <laughs> Someone made a fire pit a long time ago.